They have played 24 minutes in Boston, and the highlight of the first half was this. Staff Sergeant Matthew Knoll of the Air National Guard surprising his family That's awesome. at TD Garden. That is awesome. That is awesome. Look at mom. Just awesome. I don't know. And on that note, we welcome you to the American Express Halftime Report. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley in a 54-46 game. Boston with the lead over Detroit. Our American Express teammates got a Boston angle to it, led by Isaiah Thomas, who's got 13 points in the first half. Jay Crowder with 10, and Marcus Smart has got nine, five assists along with those 13 points. For the all-star, Isaiah Thomas, what do you make of his game night in, night out, Kenny? Well, his ability to get to the rim is just as good as his ability to shoot from the outside. So what happens is when you pressure up on him on the outside and try to use your length, then his, you know, his quickness gets itself into the lead, into the lane. You know, these are passes that he's making, but his, his ability is to do this, score on bigs inside of the paint. He gets there. He finishes. Now you got to back off him. He's used to long lanes jump shot. So he uses his size to an advantage. Best little man you played with, Charles? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, well, Kevin Johnson was great. Not little, really, is he? he uh, yeah, uh, uh, Elliot Perry. Socks. Socks was a great. Oh, yeah, Socks. Um, the best I've always said, the best player I played against was Kevin McKay. The best player I ever played with was Andrew Toney. Uh, I don't think I ever – Kevin Johnson – You thought and, Andrew Tony was better than Dr. J? He was. I got Dr. J at the end of his career, and Andrew Tony was unstoppable. Don't forget that. He was better than Moses Malone? They were both at the end of their career when I got him. I'm just asking a question. It's not an unreasonable ask because hey, those two guys are can, in the can, Hall of Fame. Uh, can I just no, say – Can I have Kevin. my answer? I'm just asking. No, you say – If I told you – If I said, I think hey, Ernie, Ernie was asking me a question. But if I said, hey, you Chucky still Brown, Chucky question, Brown was the best little guy. guy. Chucky who? You'd be like, he's not better. He's better than Akeem. I'm like, well, I play with Akeem on it. No, I'm just that's Dude, an interesting I'm just telling, question. Uh, uh, well, can I get? I gave my answer. I'm sorry, sort I didn't of. give you the answer yeah. you didn't want to hear. Ass. <laughs> okay, now I'm asking. Okay. No. Ass. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm gonna tell you. Shouldn't have asked that question, Ernie. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, when, when we when uh, we talk about the track, <laughs> and we talk about Usa, Andre, Usa. where does Andre Drummond rank on the Shaq scale of big men? I don't know about his ranking, but, you know, he's definitely up there. I like him and I respect him because he's an old-school big man, Ernie. You know, a lot of big guys these days shooting threes, but, you know, right? This play right here is called Horns. I remember this play. You come off the big, and he does what a big guy's supposed to do. Duck in, I call it ask for the ball. ball, get it, take your time, go to your move, jump hook right there. And, you know, we all know he can play defense. You know, he's always around the rim blocking, and, you know, he can run the floor. And, Kenny, he has that handle for a big Ooh. man. He has a handle for a big man. And this is all you want your big man to do. You want your big man to score, block shots, and rebound. Right here, you get your rebound. You don't want to kick it out to the guards. Take your time. Boom, boom, bam. Jump hook with the left nice hand. Lefty. Old school big man. I like his game. And I do agree with Chuck. This definitely is his team. Yeah. Uh, 12 points in the first half. Only pissed into double figures. Detroit going to make the playoffs, Chuck? <laughs> I'm sticking you with some questions here, man. Well, I don't want, to, I don't want Kenny to disagree with me, so um, just answer the question. I never disagree with what, you. What, what, you said Andrew what, Tony was the best player you played when you played with Dr. J. And Mavos, they were at the end. Two guys who were in the Hall of Fame. They, so were, they were great in their day. I caught them at the end of their career. You've, you've said that twice. Hey, Detroit going to make the playoffs, Chuck? <laughs> uh, who's ahead of them? Charlotte's eight. And uh, Phil and uh, Milwaukee's nine right now. They Detroit, are not going to. Detroit is a game and a half behind out of the uh, out of I, the eight spot. Out of those three teams, Milwaukee has the most talent, most and by far and away the most disappointing team in the Eastern Conference. You have to look at okay the three teams you mentioned. The best team of those three is Milwaukee, but they are to me the biggest disappointment in the NBA this entire year. I have no idea what's going on in Milwaukee. They should be a lot better. So Detroit's not going to make the playoffs. They, they're not going to. And if, if somebody might have said the Bulls, the Bulls, you're talking. The Bulls are not going to make the playoffs. What if they have? Oh, then maybe then maybe Detroit gets in there. No, no, no. They're going. No, those teams chasing the bottom feeders. That's, that's <laughs> the day you kissed the ass. Remember? That's, you remember on Listen Up.